The whole. A mechanical metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Guardia. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbours on all sides fell victim to its hunger, while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Alfred was the traveller's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain. I must away. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! Alfred, are you unharmed? Rosa, how did you find me? Your woeful cries could not fail to reach mine ears. Pray take not another step, gentle princess. Barbados. Oh, ho! Oh. Would the cur defy his captor? I, by the grace of the goddess, as she has set me free, even now, so too shall she guide my blade. goeth before the fall, and I, Garm, shall deliver you to hell. How shall- <laughs> Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon's roar! A splendid show! Never have I seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill! The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ha! Hail and well met, noble Alfred! Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal.
What is the future, if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet, all tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage anew. May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh. A truly remarkable display of swordsmanship, enough to prove his heroism once and for all. He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring hero's and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is, indeed, such sweet sorrow. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Spectacular! Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love, and so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. My love. Alfred. Ah! Cease the charade! Love is not but an illusion! Goddess above, let my blade strike true!
bereft of wings and broken. I consign you to the Abyss. An inspiring victory, truly. Proof that love indeed conquers all, is it not? <laughs> what awaits you at Journey's End, I wonder? Will the Goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance till your frayed strings break, and you can dance no more. Alfred, look. Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... Please be safe. Rest assured, I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait. For I know that I will find you here.
Go on. Hell of a show, huh? Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. Well, you heard him. Last chance to ride the Sky Wheel. Wanna end this on a high note? Thank you for joining us for tonight's special performance of Loveless. If you'd like to continue the magic this evening, you're invited to use your tickets to the show for one free ride on the Sky Wheel. Enjoy a stunning view of the gold saucer and the death. Just name the square, and I'll get you there. And away we go! And here we are! Only couples may ride the sky wheel at this time. Grab your friend or partner and embark on a wondrous trip through the sights and sounds of the gold saucer. Are Watch you ready to ride? Before your very eyes, each moment more... <sighs> we really doing this? Could use some peace and quiet, couldn't you? Come on. What's this? Trying to break it? Just messing with you. <laughs> oh! Incredible! was about your age, I decided I'd had enough of the mines. Wasn't much interested in any kind of work. I was young and wanted to enjoy my youth. And then I met a sweet girl named Myrna. Knew right away she was the one. But Myrna, she wasn't buying what I was selling. Told me she was in the market for a man, not a selfish little boy. If I was going to win her heart, I had some growing up to do. Otherwise, she'd never give me the time of day. 
Funny enough, our first date was at a theme park. Nowhere near as big as this place, of course. Just a traveling fair with a handful of rides. We ended up riding these wooden chocobos round and round, laughing our asses off. <laughs> Look at me, boring you with my old stories. Wouldn't be the first time. Don't worry, I'm used to it. <sighs> yeah, well, the lesson here is once you find your soulmate, you never let him go. Although seeing it just stuck riding this thing with me, I'm thinking you probably already did. Hey, you invited me. Right, because I learned to make the first move, which is exactly what you gotta do. Duly noted. Thanks for coming out tonight. I appreciate it. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're gonna go to town on those suckers. Yeah. Full disclosure, didn't know anything about this promised land. But I do now, and seriously, wow, find of the century. You never know, that intel could be bad. Our conclusions are based on a long-standing theory. It's safe to assume the temple and the promised land are one and the same. If the ancient's headed there, then it's gotta be the right place. Hm. Good thing we let her go. <laughs> I understand the keystone is to be awarded to the winners of today's special event. How should we proceed? I have an idea. Let's bring this one home. 